Alright people, so I'm here with your Smackdown review, and sorry, I'm, I usually try to get it up on Thursday, or I would like to get it up on Thursday, or Friday, usually probably Friday, because Thursday I usually work, and don't get home in time to see the start of it, I guess I could record it, but I mean I got other shit going on, so I mean, Thursday is not the best day to, to, um, to watch it for me. Because I just got a lot of shit going on. Um, I actually got this online class. And I got the assignments due on Thursday. And being me, I don't, yeah, I don't get it done ahead of time. So usually I come I come home from work. I'll do the assignment. And by the time that I usually go to bed after that. Or do some other little shit. But so, and then actually I took a trip. And then I was supposed to get back Sunday. Sunday, probably around the afternoon or sometime, but because uh, it was snowing, we left early to avoid the snow. So I got home about 1 a.m. Sunday night. Um, so I did watch it, um, and then, so that's why. I mean, usually I'll try, I'll get try to get it up by Friday, but again, unfortunately, I had a lot of shit going on, and I was not able to get it up. Well, this usually won't be the case where I get it up on a Monday. I, I will usually get it up on a Friday. So, um, yeah, the SmackDown was, uh, wasn't that good, I thought. A lot of just, eh, shit that wasn't that good. So, hopefully, I got my iPod doing the, got notes up here with the iPod, and it's on low battery. So, if it fucking runs out of power, I will have to make two videos and put them together. But, um, anyway... Let's get started with the review here. We have a Triple H promo to start off the show and how, you know, how fucking uh, original is that? Another Triple H promo to start off this fucking show. The promo wasn't that good, I thought. Just a lot of recapping. He did He did go on to talk about the Flategate here. And uh, he, he was making a few jokes like... I've heard so many deflate gay jokes. Oh, <laughs> Tom Brady had, likes his balls soft. <laughs> Shut up. All right? I mean, can you get any more, uh, you know, non-original? Uh, again, just like Triple H than making jokes about balls. I mean, it was kind of funny because you don't expect, you know, th this kind of comedy in WWE. Even though this isn't really even TV 14 comedy that much. You don't really come to expect this kind of comedy in WWE. But I mean, I guess it was kind of funny because you don't again you don't expect it. Then he goes on to talk about, I believe he was the one who was like they're trying to make it out like Reigns people are booing Reigns because they wanted wanted Brian to win. No, we're booing Reigns because he fucking sucks. All right, if he was actually good, we would be cheering him. But no, we're booing him not because Brian sucks or we wanted Brian. We're booing him because he fucking sucks. All right. So then Triple H starts talking about, you know, Raw being canceled. And he's like, we wanted to, you know, have Raw. You know, they keep telling us we can't have it. But we, like, what? You're fucking the head of the company. Or the number two, whatever. What do you mean what? We, they told us. Nobody's more powerful than you in the company than you and Vince. That doesn't make any sense. So, so then uh, he recaps the rumble. He talks about, you know, the, 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 Triple threat match, whatever. Then he uh, says there's a major announcement coming to Raw, which probably won't even be that major. Hopefully it's Reigns isn't in the fucking title match anymore. Then, then it will be a major announcement. That's probably the only announcement that I will be satisfied with. If he comes out and says Reigns will not be in the title match. If he comes out and says, like, oh, tonight's the authority week or whatever, you know, there's some bullshit, like, you know, tonight's authority uh, appreciation night. That's the big announcement. You know, then it's like, fucking what? Come on. He'll probably do some shit like that or whatever. Um, so then we get fucking just nothing special here in the promo. A lot of recapping, a lot of announcement bullshit. So then we get Reigns coming out, uh, you know, for a match here in which he defeats Big Show. And actually... <laughs> Not that bad a match. Uh, I was very, 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 very surprised that they actually had some good moves. I mean, you had Big Show with a kind of a unique submission hold there on Reigns, holding up his leg in the air. 
he had a fucking few fucking just bad moves though, like the clotheslines over the top rope, the clothesline looked kind of fake. There was also another move in there that looked fake. I forgot what it exactly was. It was kind of a, I guess what you could call the, a, a botch. I, again, I kind of forget. I'm trying to remember what it was. But you had actually a few decent moves in there. You know, you had Big Show on the fucking top rope, and he was getting Superman punched like two or three times, and Reigns like, you know, kind of gorilla pressed him over. Um, and uh, there was a few other good moves, you know few good moves overall in the match, so I'll give it two and a half out of five stars. I mean, Roman Reigns still fucking sucks, but it was way better than I expected. Then we get Rollins in J&J security, like always, J&J always, are always with them, so I, it's a Rollins promo. Kind of just talks for a few minutes how he's fucking, you know, still the future of the company and how he... You know, broke Lesnar's ribs and how he's good. It wasn't much of a promo or anything. Um, then we get, uh, Z who is it, Ryback. He, he issues an open challenge. Then Ryback comes out. A little bit of a brawl there. Rowan, then Ziggler come out. And it's a basically a three-on-three -three brawl. Kind of, you know, entertaining to a, a little bit, I guess. Some a lot of action in there, I guess you could say, with you know six guys, but it wasn't that entertaining. I mean, usually you'll get more than just a few minute promo in a brawl. I mean, it wasn't much of a segment, not a lot of entertainment here. So I was looking for more. You know, you you look for more in a segment than just a, a fucking few minute promo in a one or two minute brawl or how or how or however long it was. It wasn't that long, so not much of a segment here. Um, and again, the brawl wasn't anything special, just a lot of kind of action, I guess, in it. So this, this overall here wasn't really that much of a good segment here. Then we get Kane cutting a promo, and wow, it was actually a good promo, a Kane-esque promo where he's talking about being locked in a casket and how uh, sc scary it's going to be for Brian and how his heart's not going to beat again or whatever. Kind of a good promo here. Um, from, from Kane. Unusually, he was in a demonic state, I guess you could put it. So, actually pretty good. Then we get Tyson Kidd defeating one of the Usos. It was a pretty short match. A few good wrestling moves in here. Um, he had a spot where Uso was like perched on top of the rope and Kidd kicked him and it looked kind of cool. Then, you know, you had Uso running into the corner, and Kid kicked his leg. He did, like, a somersault. You know, a few good moves in a short match, and I'm glad Tyson and Kid won. Hopefully this means that they're going to do Usos versus Tyson and Cesaro at the pay-per-view or whatever, and Tyson and Cesaro will win, hopefully. Or just somebody get the belts off the fucking Usos. But I was very glad that Tyson and Kid beat the tag champion. So I'll give it two and a half out of five stars here. Then we get Cena and Rusev cutting a promo. You know, you got fucking Rusev and Lana just doing their typical boring shit. At first we're talking in like Russian and I'm like, what? You know, they're, they're, they're like talking in Russian and American. They're like saying a bunch of shit that I, I, I don't get what they're trying to do here. Uh, then you get Cena coming out. And, and some of what he says is good. He talks about, you know... Rusev, he's like, oh, I've been champ since you have, since you had pubes, or before you had pubes and boobs. That was kind of funny. Then he, then I, I thought this was kind of funny. He makes one statement, and he's like, you're 69 and ho. <laughs> that was kind of funny, you gotta admit there. I mean, again, people won't say that's funny, but if it comes out of the mouth of a rock or an Ambrose or a, you know, or Brian, people will, oh, that's so funny, that's hilarious, but if when it comes out of Cena's mouth, people will say it's not even funny, or they won't even acknowledge it, maybe, you know, but I thought that was kind of funny, where he says 69 and ho, then again, there's some stupid shit coming out of Cena's mouth, he talks about, like, potatoes and monkeys, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, what the fuck, it's like, he talks about a bunch of random shit that I don't get, what the hell he's talking about, and he does his normal PG stick, oh, I'm the best, you're not gonna beat me, hustle, loyalty, respect, whatever, just shut the fuck up with the same old lines over and over, oh, I almost 
drop my iPod there. Shut up with the same line over and over again. So then we get the Ascension defeating Goldust and Stardust. Just a boring match that nobody cared about. I'll give it .25 out of 5 stars. Nothing good here. Nothing. The only the reason I'm giving it point two five two five out of five stars is because of the ending. You know, Cody Rhodes or or Stardust, you know, jumps up on the top rope and kind of gets pushed. You know, I thought that was kind of a decent ending there. Then then he gets the the fall of man or whatever. <laughs> the fall of man is what the fuck name for a finisher is that the the fall kind of sounds like a Bible term with the. The fall from grace, I believe that's what Adam and Eve was called or whatever. Uh, when they fucking sinned. You know, f the fall of man, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Or where the fuck that came from. Kind of a weird name for a finisher if you ask me. Then you get Brian defeating Kane in a casket match to end the night. I was expecting, because the ca casket, it's no DQ. There was no moves really. A few chair shots by Kane. But no moves really that were that extreme. I was expecting more extreme. And why wouldn't Kane wear his fucking typical red pants with the red shit on it? Uh, that would have been much better. It would have looked better. Because he was cutting the demon, demonic promos at the, be the, at the beginning of the show. So he should have been wearing his demonic red pants or whatever. Um, but anyway, again, yeah. No, no good extreme moments here. There were, I guess, some decent spots, some decent moves in the in the fucking match. But, I mean, I was expecting a little bit more. So, I'll give it two and a half out of five stars. I was glad Brian won. But what has he really done since his return a few weeks ago? Um, he's beaten fucking Kane twice. Or two or three times. I think twice. He's, And that's it. He's gotten fucking eliminated from the Rumble in like 10-15 minutes by Bray Wyatt. And he's lost to Bray Wyatt. Why the fuck would you do that? And, and so it doesn't, it's not looking good for Daniel Bryan running, heading into WrestleMania. You know, you got fucking... I hear they're talking, you know, on Bleacher Report. They're like, oh, Bryan Ziggler would be a no-brainer. Well, if maybe if Bryan had the belt, that would be that would be a good match. But, I mean, if you're just going to have a Brian Ziggler match, that does not, that's not feel that special. You have to, you should, you know, that should be a fucking main event match. If it's just in the mid card, then who the fuck cares? I mean, would it be a good match? Yes, but I want more than just a good match. I want fucking a title match. A, a match that actually means something. Not a mid card match. I want a fucking main event for Daniel Bryan. That's what he deserves. And, 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 but instead, we're going to get fucking. Ah, Superman punch, Roman Reigns, fucking horrible fucking Roman Reigns, he can't even fucking wrestle uh, with more than five moves, Roman Reigns, uh, instead, so there you go people, Smackdown was pretty shitty, I'll give that last match two and a half out of five stars, I give the show overall two out of ten stars, nothing good really, and that's probably a generous rating because there was nothing that good, the best thing was that Kane promo backstage pretty much, nothing too good here, Nothing entertaining. Just a typical Ash WWE boring show. Even Forbes I saw put out an article saying WWE sucks, I heard. I saw the Bleacher Report link to it. This show is getting so bad now. It's just fucking... I've been saying that forever. But it is. It, it, it continues to be fucking shitty. You know, you would figure that they just they should just tell the wrestler, just go out there and wrestle a good fucking match. But or just tell the wrestlers go out there and cut a good fucking promo. But instead, I think it's just bogged down a lot by this fucking retarded creative team. They need to fucking just push guys that the crowd actually likes. You know, Brian's a fucking most over guy by far. Nobody even is close to being as over as he is. You know, everybody, yes, 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 so loudly. That they'll continue to push guys like Roman Reigns who gets booed. Where's the logic there? He's getting booed walking down to the ring. And he's their number two baby face. Does that make any sense to you, people? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah we got our top guy getting booed. And we're going to push him. And we're going to... One second. We're going to push him to the moon. <laughs> See that, people? But uh, anyway...
I mean, seriously. Um, it's just fucking retarded what they're doing with Roman Reigns. He's getting booed. Yeah, we're gonna push him. Just stupid. I'm gonna end. I, 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 you know, I'll get worked up about this and continue for another five minutes when I've talked about this a lot. But so I'm gonna end this video here with saying. Daniel Bryan's awesome. He gets cheered the loudest. He's the best wrestler. So that, that's the guy who should be in the main event. Roman Reigns, however, on the other hand, fucking gets booed. Does five moves. Can't really cut a promo. Fucking sucks. He should literally be the guy fucking making the ring for Daniel Bryan. You know, working and catering. Carrying in his bags. Because Roman Reigns is complete ass garbage. So there you go, people.